What if you retired your family? My parents got into this country, the UK, through my mom's nursing degree. That degree is the sole reason why I am here in the UK right now. Of course, there's other variables that come into play with that, but the level of gratitude for the field of nursing as well as my mom, that is wild. Yeah, 14 years later after she's gotten to this country with her nursing degree, because um, she got here first and then my brother and my dad and I came a few years later. So 14 years later, after my mom has arrived in the UK as a nurse, my dad manages to get her out of nursing. He did this through a multi-level marketing business, which is what we're still in today. And it's wild just seeing that dynamic shift growing up because for the first 14 years, my mom was the sole provider, the reason why we're in this country. And while my mom was out nursing, my dad had a range of jobs. He was a factory worker. He was a cleaner at the hospital my mom worked at, another factory, and then a catering business, a Filipino food store business, another type of multi-level marketing. And yeah, my dad just had his hands in all of that. It wasn't until 10 years since my mom had been working as a nurse in the UK that he got into this multi-level marketing. And within four years of that business, he managed to get my mom out of nursing. And now they work full time together. And growing up, I didn't really acknowledge their journey and I didn't really appreciate it like that. But now that I'm realizing it, oh my gosh, these people are so, are so first off, they're very cool. They, they do Zumba like every day. Um, they're, they're very cool. Um, they're hardworking. There's so much to be grateful for. But during the time I was growing up, I wasn't grateful. I knew leading up to it, I knew there were money problems, but I didn't know necessarily, I didn't know exactly what, because we're the type of family where it's like, don't ask, don't tell. And, and again, like, you don't, why would you give details to your 10 year old kid? Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know exactly what was wrong, but you can feel the stress, even as a child, you can feel that energy. And yeah, growing up, I didn't, didn't really appreciate it up until quite recently, quite until like a couple of years now, um, where I realized that journey is freaking sick. I, I'm gonna make a movie about that shit, but yeah, every day I'm just very thankful for the situation I'm in and their journey as well. Just the fact that they've shown me persistence in my childhood, the fact that they've showed me what hard work is, what not giving up is, they've showed me that subconsciously and consciously. As you can tell, I'm beyond grateful, but my relationship with them growing up wasn't always wasn't always peachy. I was very angsty as a teenager, I guess. I think there's a saying where you don't realize, you don't appreciate what your parents did until later down the line. I've, I've realized it now, just how much, how much they had to sacrifice for me and my brother. Like, yeah, let's not get emotional right now. But what if you retired your family? How magical would it be for the sacrifices they made for you and your siblings, for you then to pay off their mortgage, pay off all their loans, make sure that their golden years are bliss. This is something I think about quite a lot from the perspective of gratitude because throughout their hard work, I don't have a memory of them complaining. As a child, I just always remembered that whatever the way was, they know it, they would get to it, they would, they would find out. That level of comfort for a child that's another thing to be grateful for. You may be watching this and probably the reason why you're abroad or maybe you have a um, luxurious life is because of the sacrifices your parents made. In a way, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna do it the goal of retiring my parents. I don't wanna do it for the sake of their happiness in a way because, because in that way, it's like I'm trying to prove something to them. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't wanna do it where, um, where I'm straining myself because I wanna prove it to them. like. Look, you're good people. Now here's the money. You get what I'm saying? I want to do it in a way where it's like there was no other way, because of your, because of the upbringing they provided for me. There was no other way than for me to retire them because they've nourished me in so many areas that there was no other choice but for me to retire them at an early age because of the type of people they are and the type of care they provided for me. It was only a matter of time when I was retiring them. You get what I'm saying? And right now I could be focusing on, on the uh, times when our relationship between me and my family weren't the best. But I think a uh, YouTuber Aaron Doughty said this to me. Well, he didn't say this to me, I watched it in a video. But he said that the parents we have, 
we have for a reason. Whether it's to teach us a certain lesson or, or there's something we need to know in order to grow. Even though I rate my parents so much, those times back in the day when it wasn't always peaches, I used those as learning lessons. For example, 2019, 2018, my parents were setting up a branch in Singapore. So I'm in the UK. That's literally the other side of the world. And they were setting up a branch in Singapore, meaning basically at that point, at that period in time, they were away for like a year and a half, two years. Uh, they would visit, they would come for like a couple of weeks and then they would go off for several months. I would, that would leave me and my brother in this house alone. My brother is younger than me. That shit was tough. That shit was so tough. Like during the time I was like, fuck, like if I had kids, I would make sure I would give them all this attention and, and I'll prove it to them and all of that shit. And that was not too long ago. That was only f three, four years ago. Mad. Yeah, during that time, I would just feel like I get, they had to get the money, you know, but I felt some resentment. Now I can understand right now the sacrifices they made and I respect them so much for it. And uh, seeing how much of a person I've grown from that, from that situation, I'm very grateful. I could choose to view that situation as a dark time in my life, which it was, but looking back at it now, I just see nothing but not, not cherished moments, but like it had to be like it, like, and I wouldn't have it any other way, even though it was hard at the time, which makes me think, cause imagine if you have to be successful to prove your parents, whether it's good or bad to prove to your parents. That's, that's not the way to go about it because you're moving, you're doing work with a certain level of pressure, a pressure of having to be good enough or pressure of not being good enough. Yeah, when you're moving in that strenuous way, ah, it, it, it can work, it can work. So if, imagine if uh, you really want to become hench, uh, so you go to the gym because of insecurity, that shit will work. You know what I'm saying? The pressure, those are good kickstarts to motivation but they're not sustainable. They're not, they're not sustainable if the only reason why you're going to university is to prove to your parents that you're good enough, that you're worthy, as opposed to going to university because you're genuine, genuinely interested in the subject and you feel like it fulfills you and nourishes you. And that's where um, I feel like chasing money, that's where you need to be careful because what's the motivation behind it? Is that motivation straining you or fulfilling you? With the example I'm using with being successful for your parents, you can use it in either situation. You can use it in a way where it's, oh yeah, I must prove them wrong or I must prove them right. And in either way, they're both very much straining. I'm not saying what I'm doing is the, the right way to do things, but the way I'm approaching things is through gratitude is because it's more so from a gift, like, Paying for my parents' mortgage, I don't expect anything in return. Yeah, I could say I'm doing it because they gave so much to me, but I don't even think it's that. I don't even, I don't even think it's that's where my motivations are coming from. I think I just want to do it because, first off, I want to do it. And second of all, because of the nourishment, as I mentioned, because of the nourishment and the environment they provided for me, it was only a matter of when. It was not a matter of, it, it wasn't a, a question of if I was going to do it or not, it was when. The lessons they've taught me, and not, bear in mind, yeah, I don't know if this is common for you lot, but in Filipino cultures, we don't really, we don't really express things like that. <laughs> so they wouldn't tell me up straight, like, okay, this is how you have a nourishing relationship and this is how you have, you just see from their actions. You don't, you don't, they don't get told, told to you in documentation form. You get told in actions, regardless of your home experiences throughout childhood or even now. You can always, that's the thing about past situations, you, regardless if you deem them as good or bad, you can always switch it up. You can always frame it differently so it benefits you in the current moment. Past situations don't have to define you because I could list so many things right now that can make me the victim, that can make it easier for me to not strive for anything. I can make loads of excuses why I shouldn't be where I'm at or why I shouldn't be successful because of my childhood, because of my upbringing. But nah, the more bad things you have, 
you could reframe that into ammo and so why why you are successful i've been through adversity so therefore i know what it takes to be successful i had a shit childhood so let me not give that to my future kids whatever the past event is we can always always reframe it we can always reframe it in a way that serves us right now and i think that's magical because <laughs> we're always overthinking about the past so we may as well reframe it in a way that serves us and is beneficial to us right now this makes me think that my parents my mom they didn't get us here for me just to mess around skip lectures play video games all day watch netflix like or maybe they did maybe they sacrificed so we could be comfy but they didn't apply for several visas, apply for several board exams, apply to different hospitals for them to then to finally get here. A couple years later, bring you along and then for you to be bumming around. Like, put some respect on your parents' <laughs> put some respect on your parents' effort, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you show appreciation to your parents and family because even though you may not like what they're doing or how, how they are, just know that they're doing their best. They're doing best in their body and their way of thinking and their circumstances. They're doing their best. And if you come at that angle with compassion, then it's easier to be understandable for why they did certain things in the past or why they made certain sacrifices and choices. And overall, it just, overall, it just helps you appreciate them more. So yeah, until next time, love.